Hello everyone, this is Uzwal Two Tech here from the channel Code Club Day, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a dictionary app in Python. So let me first of all show you what I'll be using. So I'll be using this beautiful su 4 library, uh, which is supported by PIPY. And to install this, you can hit the command PIP install beautiful su 4 So since I have already installed this, so let's get started. So let me jump back to VS Code. So I'm back here in VS Code and let's get started. So first of all, let me demonstrate you what why I will be doing. So I will be scrapping this data from this site known as dictionary.com. You can visit this site. Uh, uh, just like I have type uh, search for the word hello. And if I am going to search for the word, um, let's say from. Okay. As you can see, when I had searched for hello, hello was appearing here. And okay, now the words appear. The word appeared here from. Okay, and the meaning are here. So what I will do is I will copy this URL. Okay, and now I'll go to VS Code. Okay, let's start. So I'll import some libraries. Import. Import requests. Okay. Now I'll import from BS4 import for virtual soup. Okay. And now what I will do is I will create an object page and uh, I will use request request dot get and the URL. Uh, let me type here URL and let's initialize here to URL. Okay. Uh, let's create a variable URL. This is called and what we have copied. I'll just paste it here. it like a string okay and I have this. so what will this basically do is it will fetch the all the HTML tags and all the HTML codec of the website this website and it will write all those things to this page object now what I'll do is I'll create soup or uh, you may say uh, page pretty five you may say soup page we are not soup page is equal to the this is a beautiful soup object so I'll write beautiful soup and what I'll do is I'll soup the content of the page which will be the HTML codec content and I'll use a parser called ht HTML dot parser okay and now let me print this object print soup page dot pretty five okay now let's see what is going to be printed out here yeah, my internet connection is slow okay now we have the all the HTML code of the page here printed in our terminal not now what i want to do is i want to search for a particular word so i'll take an input from the user a is equal to and that will be a string so i'm not writing here int input Now what will uh, we hear just like as you can see when I was typing the word it was appearing here let me demonstrate another example saying bye and now as you can see when I am typing the word here it is going here means if I am going to write here bye instead I am going to write here 
quote uh, instead of buy and I'm going to search here we can go to the meaning of get the meaning of quote we are able to get the meaning of quote and quote here right here means it is all about this word which is present in the URL so what I will do is I will take this word from the user and insert in in the URL of the page okay so I have taken into input from the user and I will do it basically here control V okay input from the user and what I will do is as you can see when we are assessing the word from it was appearing here so to add this word here uh, what I will do is I will convert it into a string and this part into a string and I will erase this from, from here and I will write A ok and now let me run this to see whether it runs or not ok now it has prompted us to search for a word so I will write hello ok and now you can, you can see it has printed out the whole page for the word hello and we will be soon fetching the day fetching the uh, meaning from this html page okay. now let's get so now let me search for the word hello here to get it more clear okay. and now let me just inspect the this thing okay and right click sorry this page is still loading okay. is not on search for hello hello ok now let me tell you what is going on here okay. uh, uh, uh. this is the last time I am going to search for the word hello else I will be searching for any other word now inspect as you can see that this one means this oh. this is here Tip class and uh, version three. Okay, span class content CSS. One click content and here should be the meaning. Yes, we have got the meaning. Here means the meaning is inside the span tag and the class is one click content. Oh, first of all, let me see whether this is. search for this okay yes okay the means the class is same for one and all so what i'll do is i'll search for this in span tag and the class uh, i'll give the attribute this class so let's unpack to vs code and now what i'll do is a meaning is equal to soup base dot find all and the tag is span and now I'll get a set set of attributes so I'll write and the class which is going to be this so let me go over there and copy it so this is going to the class of that and let me copy it from here okay. see I'm going to paste it here okay and now let me print meaning okay let me do this on average will give us only that let me enter type to search for a word I'll write hello and as you can see we have got this uh, it is very big okay.
okay we have got till here from origin of hello after this we have got all this okay now it is just giving as you can see we have got this one it's just square bracket here it means that meaning is a type meaning has become a type of list so to print the first element i'll write meaning zero okay and i'll hit the run button and write hello okay now we have got span class one click content e we have got the meaning we have used to express a greeting answer or telephone or attract attention and from here this span tag now to get the meaning only this text means from this here to here what i'm going to do is i'll write a meaning zero dot p text okay and now let me write it again Forward. Okay. okay now we have got the meaning used to express a greeting answer or telephone or attract attention now since meaning is containing all the different types of meaning of the word hello all iterate for all the uh, objects of the all the items in meaning so all right for i in range length of meaning print meaning i means the value of i will be for initially the value of i will be zero then it will be two then now let me run this enter a word to search for hello okay now we have got all the meanings enter i used to express a uh, okay and now what i basically want to do is i want to uh, keep these all brackets away so all right str ip strip strip this brackets okay. and now let me run this it asks me to search for a word i like hello okay now we have got the words uh, used to express a greeting answer or telephone okay now to get the answer in some fancy way i'll write here print and what uh, basically what I'll do is I'll take input from the user then I'll print a gap between the words and then what I'll do is I will print this negative for 80 times so I'll write 80 okay. now let's see let's search for different words so I'll write 2 attract okay. okay now we have got all the meanings to draw physical force causing or tending to cause to approach adhere until unite uh, we have got this also in uh, to be attracted to be to exert a pleasing and learning or fascinating influence upon be attractive we have got this this and this also now this is a simple way to uh, find uh, make a dictionary app oh, let to make it more fancy what i'll do is i'll write here print the meanings run this again um, again print i space print okay i'll write another word like like okay <laughs> let's search for this okay to be fond of someone specified people or things similar to something or specified tr tr to do something to be fond of to prefer or wish to do something okay uh, let's not strip this because we are getting some errors so let not strip this one okay and let's see what's what we are going to get the answer 
So let turn okay. went in method and dot strip. Oh, sorry, I have not. Now let's run this again to see what we are going to get. Then, right. Okay, now we have got the answers. Hmm. A lot of meanings have been provided. A female child from birth to fill growth, a young, immature woman, especially formerly an unmarried one. A daughter, my wife, and I have two girls, informal, sometimes offensive, older is usually offensive, a female servant as a maid. Okay. So this is the basically this is basically the way that uh, you can use to make this uh, dictionary app and it is pretty simple to make a dictionary app in Python. In other upcoming videos, I will be showing you how to make um, an app that can show the uh, all the trends between two stations and it can also show the fares uh, for different types of coaches and will mainly calculate the uh, money uh, as you can say fare for. Uh, traveling and in uh, uh, I'll be waiting for your comments in the uh, comment section and I'll be very much uh, grateful if you could subscribe this channel and press that thumbs up button if you like this video thanks for watching and happy coding to one and all